Hey, a pleasant good morning, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a reaction to our Flyers before the All Star break uh, actually winning two straight games. First and foremost, please continue to show your support and subscribe down below or above on the Easy News widget to help us get to 200 by the end of February. I really appreciate you and love you all for the support thus far. But let's get into it against the Winnipeg Jets and none other than Connor Hellbuck who made some great saves throughout this game. This was a great goaltender battle between Kata Hawk and Connor Hellbuck, who both stood their crease really well and played fantastic games overall. The Flyers did not start this one how they wanted at all. This team um, obviously has not had the best uh, bounce back of late whenever going down uh, early. But they were able to, of course, bounce back in this game after allowing an early goal. Of course, when they won and beat the Kings, Jerry Mayhew was able to score the first goal. In this game, the team felt a little bit different after getting the win last time out. Uh, it felt like they actually had more push after going down one nothing. They actually, minutes later, were then beating the um, Winnipeg Jets in shots in the first period. And uh, having... A pretty solid, um, inconsistent first period back and forth, but but actually we're getting their own chances as well, and it didn't seem like, oh, the Jets scored the first goal 48 seconds in on a beautiful blitz by Kyle Connor. We're screwed. The game's over. It actually seemed like they were playing much looser on their skates and not gripping the stick so tightly that we saw in the 13-game losing streak. That, that just goes with the adage of, like everyone says, once you get that one win or once you get that one goal, it kind of loosens everything up when everything's going the wrong direction and kind of helps things to not necessarily go completely the right direction. Like I said in my previous day, I don't expect the Flyers to now go on a 13-game winning streak or something like that and pull a Blues and recover, but it starts getting them going in a positive direction for the retool, for the rebuild, whatever you want to call it, so that the team can start moving in a good direction for the second half of the season, or for the round out half of the season, I should say, um, and uh, have some positive things going into this offseason that's not going to be a playoff season minus a miracle uh, for our Philadelphia Flyers. But in this game, I really liked what I saw because the team didn't show any quit. Travis connecting in the second period, 10-42, and had a beautiful a wrist or snapshot almost combination that was able to get over the stick of the defender and almost full hell buck and get in. And then Van Riemsdyk by Scotty Lawton had a, first of all, Scott Lawton, uh, Konechny I thought was buzzing the entire night um, and really looked good in this game as a whole and looked good against the Kings as well. So Konechny's a player of the game, but Scott Lawton hands down, even though he only had an assist in this game, he drew two penalties had good hits, was, was just really uh, noticeable uh, in the game as a whole, and uh, he deserves to be a player of this game. His overall uh, stat line, as we round out the game, he had uh, one assist, one point, obviously a plus minus one, he had five shots, two hits, and three blocks. So uh, Scotty Lawton had a day, and he is a player of the game in this one, and he had the assist uh, shooting it, and then JVR getting the rebound, and then one of the most favorite people on the planet. Oscar Lindblom is able to get his six, who's also been playing exponentially better hockey um, ever since he's been moved up the lineup. And even during the end of the losing streak, I noticed better play from Lindblom, and now it really showed in this game. Yes, he only got the empty net goal, but he was in the right spots. He was doing all the things where, once again, you get that win off. You get that kind of monkey off your back. Everything starts moving a little bit in the right direction. This team is not going to respond to become a playoff team, but it's good to see positive things in a downtrodden season. And that's what we're seeing right now, as I still think Oscar's going to be a good part of the future for this team. It just took him a bit to work back. And patience is a virtue, but we're starting to see and reap the benefits of Oscar Lindblom's play moving up the lineup right now. JVR is continuing to heighten his trade value. Uh, the cap hit's not going to be easy to get rid of before the deadline, but somebody might come and say, we really need a scorer that can get us 20 to 25 goals by the end of the year. That would be about um, 10 to 15 more goals on the season for JVR, depending upon where you want to get him by the end of the season. Uh, somebody might really just need that and not get their first or second option and then go, well, we could get James Van Riemsdyk from the Flyers 
And then the Flyers might just have to eat a little bit of that contract, and then they'll be able to get a good trade, say, so to speak. So we'll have to see what happens going forward. But all in all, the last two games, beating a good LA Kings team that's in the postseason, beating a Jets team that's trying to get to it by making up um, games here, have a couple games below other teams. They haven't played as many games as other teams, but they have to win the games that they have to make up. And right now, it's not looking the best for the Jets um, as our downtrodden Flyers team had a great game and was able to beat them. And the Jets, um, as well as our Philadelphia Flyers, are not heading in the right direction for this season from how they would have been projected at the beginning of the season. But that's why it's still good for the Flyers to take advantage of those teams. Because if you look at the Winnipeg Jets, they knocked them down even another peg if you're probably Jets fans looking at this game today. Because most likely Jets fans are coming into this game going, well, at least even though they beat the Kings, they were able to end the 13-game losing streak. At least we're playing the Flyers. Well, no, you're not. We beat you guys, and we're able to get the win, and that's just the world of sports uh, for you. It's so unpredictable where, like I said, I would have favored the Jets in yesterday's game 70-30. to Obviously, the Flyers got the 30% and won that game and played a great game and didn't show any kind of just give up that they showed in the 13-game losing streak when the first goal was scored by the other team. So everybody have a great and pleasant day. Please subscribe down below or above on the easy use widget to help us get to 200 by the end of February. This has been the latest edition of the grittiest take on the Winnipeg Jets and Flyers games. The Flyers won 3-1. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the hockey.